Are you preparing for a merit system interview but confused about how much C programming you really need to know? Do you need just basics like array and pointers or do you need advanced stuff like dynamic programming and system design? In this video, I will break it down for you company by company, level by level. So you will know exactly how much C you need depending upon the type of company you are targeting. Hi, I am Rahul. I have spent last 14 years in embedded system across automotive, IoT and semiconductors. I have interviewed candidate, candidates. I have been interviewed myself and I have seen one thing very clearly. Most people either prepare too little or too much when it comes to C. So let's clear this confusion once and for all. So let's start with type one companies which are a startup based companies basically. So now startups are tricky. They don't have well defined interview structure like big companies. Every startup has its own requirement depending upon what they are building. Some may ask you only about basics like pointer array and structure. Other may directly dive into problem solving on real code snipped. And honestly, I in startup, sometimes the founder himself takes the interview and just test how quickly you can debug a piece of code. So for startups, be strong in core C concepts, pointer, array, string, structures and memory handling. And more importantly, show them you can learn fast and debug under pressure. That's the startup world. Now comes type two. Big embedded product based companies think like companies like Think about companies like Qualcomm, NVIDIA, AMD, Texas Instrument, NXP, Bosch, Continental and so on. These companies have structured interview processes and they focus heavily on C fundamentals. Here's what they expect you to know. So if you're preparing for these embedded system based product based companies, so these are the few topics of C which you practice very well. So first topic is pointer basically so in pointer you should practice all these concepts you should start with double pointers practice some question on double pointer and then practice few questions on constant pointer and then pointer arithmetic like uh, pre increment post increment all those inter related question you should practice related to pointer arithmetic then pointer with array so you should practice a lot of interview style questions for pointer and array uh, being used together Okay, and then function pointer, of course, function pointer play important role in most of the embedded system project. So definitely interviewer are interested to ask questions around function pointer. So you should practice many questions related to function pointer as well. Then uh, when we talk about array, so in array basic uh, programming question related to traversing the array, sorting the array, those are enough to uh, prepare for these, uh, these MNCs uh, companies basically. Then structure and union is also an important topic. Uh, you should practice understanding the difference between structure and union. Not just uh, difference in the textual form, but also the memory layout, how the memory layout of structure and union uh, differ, uh, like how the elements of structure and union get stored in the memory. So this level of understanding you should have. Then you should practice size of uh, questions for structure and union. So most of the questions being asked related to size of questions like what is the size of this structure? What is the size of this union? And you should also consider the padding examples or the padding questions when uh, when you are preparing for the interviews. So you should you should able to solve the questions uh, related to size of your structure and union with or without padding basically. All right. And then uh, comes out string for string you should practice the basic program like uh, uh, string reversal palindrome and all those basic uh, string related questions if you will search on google you can easily find out the uh, list of uh, string questions for basic level basically and then string constant string literals all these programs you need you need to practice uh, from string in c and then comes the final most important topic which is uh, bit manipulation so from bit manipulation you should practice uh, the basic programming questions like toggling a bit clearing a bit setting a bit and other basic uh, bit manipulations questions if you want we can share the list of the bit manipulation question you should try before uh, appearing for your embedded system interviews okay and then dsa so these companies has embedded mindsets they don't they don't go uh, in like much deep into the DSA, they will just ask basic DSA concepts like linked list and from linked list you can practice a traversal of linked list, reversal of linked list, uh, find the highest node 
uh, value in the linked list and then uh, find the intersections of two linked list find the loop in the linked list so these kind of program you can practice from linked list and then stack and queue are also important topic which sometimes company ask from dsa so stack and queue you can just practice the basic questions how to uh, create the stack how to manipulate the stack using push and pop operation queue in the similar way queue and the double buffer queue as well so these kind of questions you can practice for uh, these mnc's basically okay so notice i said basic dsa not advanced like graph algorithm they just want to see if you can think like an engineer and solve a problem with c because in in real married jobs you will be handling drivers buffer memory not writing complex algorithm all the day so if your dream is to work at these big product companies mastering c fundamentals is absolutely non negotiable and finally type 3 which is uh, fang companies now these are not traditional embedded companies but yes some of you may target them too at fang another top tier company they don't stop at just c basics they will test you on advanced problems solving and algorithms things like dynamic programming hashing graph algorithm system design and much more so here it's not about whether you know embedded c it's about whether you are an excellent problem solver so for fang type companies you need a uh, complete mastery of c programming plus strong dsa preparation just like competitive programming okay so let's recap quickly for startup you need strong c basics plus debugging skills for big embedded product based companies solid c fundamentals pointers string structure memory plus basic dsa like linked list and queues for fang based companies complete advanced dsa and problem solving with c So the mistake many candidate make is either under preparing just revising college notes or over preparing with advanced algorithm when they only need needed strong fundamentals so if your goal is to get into embedded automotive product based companies like Qualcomm TI Bosch or Nvidia then your focus must be on C fundamentals with interview style practice and this is and this is exactly what i cover in my embedded system interview prep boot camp in it's an 8 week mentorship where we go deep dive into embedded c rtos basics and linux kernel fundamentals all with interview style problem solving so if you are serious about preparing for embedded interviews check the link in the description that's where you will find all the details and before you go make sure to hit subscribe and hit on the notification bell because i will be posting more videos on topic like c interview questions rtos linux drivers and embedded career tips if you found this video useful drop a comment and tell me which type of company you are targeting startup product base or fang i would love to know thanks for watching i will see you in next videos